Hello everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and welcome back to some more Naruto Anime Ultimate Mod Pack with me. And yes, yeah, so we streamed last night, and that was interesting for a bit until we had to go find a jungle. That wasn't interesting, that was hell. We didn't find one, because of course we didn't. This world hates us. This world absolutely positively hates us. What on earth is going over there, Jack? What's the buggery? Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Great fire bow jutsu! Great fire bow jutsu! All for me. All for me. I mean, I got experience to that. I'm not sure. Right, well, um. Everything appears to have gathered in a hole. Yeah, there was a blood moon uh, just recently. There was, there was a blood moon. I, I wonder what Jack was doing. Yeah, they've all gathered around where uh, Jack is. I guess Jack sealed himself underground. Either I don't know the way he FK until the blood moon stopped or something, or he's got a plan or something. I don't know. But whatever. Um, da da da. Wait, is that we? Right, we streamed. That was fine. The Easter update happened. That was. I can't even say that was cool because nothing cool really happened of it. Like, we got one jutsu and it crashed the whole server. <laughs> it was called the Death Egg Jutsu, or it is now known as. Um, and yeah, it kills people via chocolatey death. And, oh yeah, happy Easter, people. Probably just throw that out there. And happy, happy, well, not really happy. It's not really happy when it's April Fool's. It's just sort of try and suffer through it, I suppose. <laughs> oh, but yeah. God, it's weird those, that those fall on the same day this year. But yeah, so uh, the Easter update so far has not been very uh, nice for us. Although, I did do some grinding off camera. I only, I only grinded a little bit because after the stream, I never obviously set up and played anymore. And then I woke up today and I'm recording, because it's a weekend, I'm recording this quite early. So, yeah, I've not had as many hours to just sit and grind as I normally would. So, I've only gotten up a couple of levels. And due to that, I've only gotten a couple of eggs. So, I have items in my inventory. Yes, I do. I mean, I have too many items in my inventory. No, I don't. Right, I've got three of each egg because the grinding, that's just what kind of came out. I mean, I guess their drop rates are close to the same. So it's like you get roughly around the same number each time. But yeah, so I'm going to open these all. So this gives us 18 eggs to open. And yeah, we're going to hope for a happy Easter and hopefully get something cool out of it. I don't think we will, but you know, it, any of the other Jutsu, just not the Ninjutsu one that crashes people. Actually, to be fair, the Jutsu didn't crash uh, when it hit mobs. It only crashed when it hit people. And I checked the uh, the uh, crash report and it is definitely just that. Uh, that is, it's definitely just that Jutsu that's causing it. So... Hell done, let's click the thing. Congratulations, you found the secret item. Taijutsu. Tamago. I was cocking lucky. I've been very bad at getting these things so far. And then the first one I get, Tamago. I got Silver Ryu, Silver Ryu. Got Chocolate Easter Egg, Silver Ryu, Chocolate Easter Egg. Easter Egg, Easter Egg, Easter Egg. I'm going to be fat by the end of this. Easter Egg, eat. Oh, Silver Ryu, Chocolate Easter Egg. Boom, boom, boom. Last ones, but no, no, I've already got a lot of chocolate Easter eggs. I don't want any more. Oh, well, I might as well eat them. Oops, oh god, there's nothing good over there anyway. It's, fi it's fine, ignore it. Oh god, I just clicked that by accident. Uh, store the real way. We've got a Taijutsu, that's cool. We've got Tamago, a Taijutsu used by Kurosaji. Attack the opponent with a frontal kick. And push an explosive egg into them that also pushes them back. Damage 5 plus explosion. Ooh. Let's give it a try, shall we? Da, da, da. Hello, things! Ow! I didn't block the terrains. So that's good. Oh, God. It's got a bit of a kill there on it, though. Ah, oh, it doesn't do very much to it damage. We've got egg jutsu. It's weird. <laughs> this is a weird old world, so it is. Hello! Ah! 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 Beat it to death. Beat it to death. Oh, Easter egg thing. Oh, Jutsu. How close are we? We're nowhere near. Jesus, this takes a long time. It's not even that good. I don't, I don't seem like it doesn't feel like it's that good. How much health are you on exploding arrow skeleton? One, die. Get out of here. All right, whatever. Oh, sod it. We've got the Jutsu. That's at least nice. All right, so anyway. Um, as I was saying, though, in the stream last time, we also uh, went looking for, well, a jungle. Because we got, we went on the path to becoming a sage, and part of that path is finding a jungle and well, finding a sage bug, and that is horrible because jungles have been like the rarest thing in this freaking world. So, yay! How much does this give us, by the way, hunger wise and chakra wise? I've got six hundred and seventy four chakra. I get ten, plus like one, 
hunger bar back. God, these Easter eggs aren't kind. But we'll devour them anyway. But right, um, I need to go find a jungle for the stagey thing. It's really annoying. I hate it. it yeah. Head to forest bio and right click the item to attract a sage insect. It freaking lies. It's a jungle biome, not a forest. Or is it? Hold on. You must test this. This is a forest hill biome. Where's just the forest biome? Forest. You're freaking kidding me. He said jungle. The cocking toad lied to me. He said jungle. No. 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 We could have done so much more of this during the stream. Ah! Oh. I hate you. Stupid, ugly thing. Ah! Oh. You're kidding me. Oh yeah, we also upgrade the, the cell games arena. I say upgrade it because we added stuff onto it. That totally means upgrade, right? Totally does. Where is it from here? Oh god, I'm circling round. It is over there. Shutting gun. Come away. Do, 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 do. Bam. Ow. Oh god, we've got some spectators. Got a few spectators up there. And apparently we got a row of seats. Yeah, I, I forget who it was. I think it was Frozen QB was creating like Earth Jutsu stand bit for us to watch. And yeah, I upgraded it because the cell game ruin is nice and all. But if you want to have a tournament where you fight people, you're just going to get knocked out of the ring. So I mean, so you can't get knocked out. Not unless you jump super high and get kicked over. Also, people can just, like, claim on top of these pills and stuff. Well, they could, only now they're going to get hurt doing it, which would be dumb. Of course, that's still... I, I still just also make it really can't claim on top of the things, because people would just sit there and it'd be annoying. Uh, that's not very interesting, is it? But yeah, this is the new Cell Games Arena. <laughs> it's a bit more brutal than the last one, in terms of friendliness and whatnot. I originally wanted to make a really small pit and do this to it, but whatever, the Cell Games Arena will do. But yeah, it just means we can hold little tournaments every now and then, have people fight. Although... Destructive jutsu still are destructive, so I don't know. We need to create like a different arena that's like indestructible, so we can have like a full-on brawl or something. Especially when people start getting their tail beast stuff up, because the second you get stage two, you unlock the buji bomb, uh, which or biju bomb. Oh god, everyone's good. Everyone's been at me in the comment section. It's not buji, it's biju. I know, but I've called it buji since I was a child or since I was a young teenager that started watching freaking Naruto, and I just can't remember the state the other way. I'm just so used to saying it one way, so. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to keep saying it wrong, alright? Just try it out there. Listen, I say words wrong all the time, okay? You know this. You have come to understand this to a reasonable extent, okay? So if, I, if this is just one more word in a collection of words that I say wrong, why is this here? Go away! Why is it? Why? Why? Why is someone... Like, I'm not so bothered about there being tanks. It's just why are they so close to my house in the middle of nothing? Like, that's just... That's just weird. Where do you want Let's go. You didn't escape, did you? Nope, nope, there it is there, that's fine. I knew it was somewhere nearby. I should really get healing pots and heal them. Yeah, people will be leaving tanks lying around. I don't know why. It's really weird. Really weird. I mean, I'll put a drain here. That makes more sense. Sure. Oh yeah, person got waitlisted. Last time on the stream, uh, the stream got over 300 likes. Thank you all very much for that. Oh god, I'm gonna step on that and give a ton of XP away at some points. How much does it take if I just pass over it? Not much. Good. Uh, but yeah, so... One thing I've noticed about streams, though, they don't tend to get as many comments at the end. So, like, if you comment after a stream, you tend to have a better chance of getting on, because there's not as many people talking in it, apparently. Because, like, like, even though I got over, like, 330 likes, it's not it's not even been that many hours since the stream went out. It's only been, like, maybe 12 hours since I put the stream out fully. Obviously, I streamed for the two and a half hours as well, but, you know. It's not been that many hours in terms of, like, how long I normally wait before I go on these videos and, you know, pick people out. But even as we've been like 30 on comments. Be why? Because a lot of people commented during the stream, so they don't feel a need to go comment on the video. So, yeah. Our anyway, uh, person who got whitelisted is Deathflash12. You have been whitelisted. Modpack, IP, and the link to the Naruto mod should be down below. And please remember, you do need to get the Naruto mod itself as well. It's on the website that's linked down below. Because, yeah, I don't provide that. It's big, which isn't even the problem, but it's a big old mod. And it gets updated on the regular. And if I'd, like, actually kept it in the pack, I would have had to change it, like, five times by this point. So, yeah. Like, just go to the website and download it. If it comes up a, if it comes up a mod rejection error when you try to join the server, saying mod rejection AM 1.0.0 or some crap, that's the Naruto mod. AM means anime mod, or anime... Not the Naruto anime mod it's talking about. So, yeah. That's the thing. So, I built a jungle over here. Um... 
My original plan was because the world was screwing me over, I decided to screw it. If the world's not going to give me what I want, I'll make my own. So I created a jungle. It's a, a, a legit jungle bound. You can see I was in the jungle bound from the map there. And yeah, I was just going to stand in here and do the thing. But apparently it just needed a forest. I'm still pissed about that. <laughs> I'm, I'm not have, I'm not thrilled about that. I'd, I'd much rather it was a jungle because it, it made me suffer. I, I travelled for like ages looking for a jungle. And I, I took the time to set this thing up. Okay, this only took me like two minutes. But still, I took the time to set this up. I would much prefer if it was, you know, actually a jungle required. <laughs> but it's not. It's a cocky... There's... Yeah. <sighs> Oh well. We have a jungle now. If anyone wants to find Shinadi, have fun. You can play in here, I guess. Because, you know, it's a legit jungle. So, it's small, but it's a legit jungle. Huzzah. But right. Uh, let's go have a Gandero. Do, do, do. Um, back at the stage spot. Because I'm going to do stage stuff today. Which means we're going to AFK a bunch in this video. Because I'm going to be cutting the bits out where I'm standing still. Oh god, things are attacking me again, aren't they? Leave me alone. Right, have the stupid bug. Summoning Jutsu. I present you the Sage Insect, which I got from a forest, not a jungle. Ah, delicious. <laughs> He's a frog, it makes sense. Good, now bring me an Ender Eye. Da, 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 da. Done! Summoning Jutsu. Here, the Ender Eye requested Gamamura. Gamamura? Yeah, it's Gamamura. Uh, wonderful, just one more thing. I need both a lava and a water bucket. You son of a bitch. Alright, well, I've got... Do I have a water... Oh, I've, got two... I've got two empty buckets right here. But, I mean, nine empty buckets. Lovely. Right, well, in that case, um... You'll realise soon, the master of the sage arts. One must practice the highest form of patience. I freaking hate these things. God, this mod... It... A lot of this mod is based around time and waiting, and I hate it because that's not what we want in a mod. We want trials and combat and fighting and cool jutsus. We don't want to stand in one place for bloody minutes upon minutes AFK. Because what are you going to do? Like, what's fun about that? You just stand there, you just go AFK on Minecraft. That's, that's a dumb thing for a mod. It's uh, ongoing, it's going to be, it's still always going to be a terrible thing. <laughs> I get the idea he's going for with it because that's what Naruto had to obviously study, like, you know, meditating and whatnot. But it's not, this isn't Naruto, this is Minecraft Naruto. You need to adapt it a little bit. And that means not less waiting, more killing and stuff. That'd be nicer. Bah. Oh well, whatever. Um, I don't think the mod's going to change that time. So at the very least, you could lower the amount of time you have to wait, though. Like, 50 hours for a cloak? 10 would be more reasonable, if I'm being honest. Like, 10 so you can get the thing going. Like, you know... I get it's supposed to be a big thing, but making someone wait 50 hours in a server is just a bit obscene. Especially when, one, you can't cheat it, and two people are doing series on it, they're kinda screwed. Like, this, the mod, the mod's very heavy, no cheating. Now, that's cool, so people can't glitch stuff in. But it's not cool when you're doing a series, and you wanna, like, you know, spawn stuff in and get, you know, different natures and stuff. Or, say you're doing, like, a mod-type battle, or something. Which I still wanna do. I still wanna do a mod battle at some point, against, uh, the others. The only problem is, if I'm gonna do a mod battle... I need to unlock stuff, essentially, in a different world, then use that uh, player data over another world, which can cause all sorts of other problems. So, yeah. Where's lava? I'm, like, running around like a headless chicken here. Looking for lava. Because th there'll be some lying around somewhere, surely. My sharing gun's still on. Oh, they are as well. You run? You really are weak. You better be grateful to me. Yeah, I, I carry my rants about this quite a lot. I've, got, I've, got, I've grown used to them saying things like this to me. He also said something to me about killing everyone and relying on him. He'll be there for me and stuff. It was really nice. And now he's called me weak. Horrible. I don't know. If Kurma's talking to me more often, does that mean anything? Does that mean I'm getting close to time? I don't know. Because I don't know how many hours I need to. I don't know if it's another 50 hours. Or whether the mod creator has shown mercy. It's only 50 hours for the first cloak. And the rest are only a handful. That'd be better. <laughs> oh. Because, I mean, let's face it. Naruto waited, what? Like, 12, 13 years before he got the, t the one uh, tail cloak. I believe the tail beast cloak. Didn't have any control of it, but, you know. Then after that, he only waited, like, another, like, what, three years until he got the next form after that? Like, you know, da-da-da. I, I don't feel like the, the time should be, I think the time should be comparable to that, you know? It should be, like, a fraction of the time. Anyway, here's your bloody thing for cooking. 
Wait, what? I I have here with me a bucket of lava and water you requested. Da da. Yes, at last, all the ingredients are here. Now I shall use this lava and water to be the but to the pilot points. Next, we add the sage insect along with the beef, fish, and slime balls. Finally, we add the ender eye. Now stir the whole thing and ah, the soup is ready. Here, have a bowl. I know that for soup. Soup. Not just soup. This is sage soup. It's a kind of soup that can only be prepared by a sage. So I can make it then, after I finish this. Drink up. That's the first part of your initiation. That's the disgusting insect inside, though. Yay! Nom, nom, yum, yum, yum. You eat the sage soup. You feel yourself getting nauseous, but you also feel your sinjutsu growing. Really? Oh my god, it is a spell. <gasps> da, da, da. But yeah, so I've now got, I've now got sage energy. Cool! I can now charge it up. It's very slow. I don't actually know if you can increase the, the charge rate of that, actually. Be cool if you could. I don't know if you can, though. I don't know if that actually works. Right. Summoning Jutsu! Now, let the actual training begin. In order to become one with nature, you need to face the different elements. Oh, God. First, for your first training, head up to the highest peak of the world and become one with the wind, and then come back and see me. The highest peak in the world? Oh... Yes, spend your way up where nothing can be built. Good luck. I hate sage training. I really do. Right. Um. Ba 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 ba. Wood. Up we go then. God. Eh. Okay. This is, a, this is a lot harder when you know I I jump stupidly high. Okay. This is this is actually going to be really challenging. Okay. Okay. This is actually going to take me a lot longer because I can't cocking. Hold on. Thing off! Oh, that's much easier. Okay, this is working better. Right, well, I guess I'll, I'll cut here. I'll go up to the highest point in the world, and we'll, we'll see we'll see how long it takes. I think it's like 10 minutes or something. Which is still an annoying amount of time to be just standing still, but, you know. <laughs> Whatever! It needs to be done, so, yeah, but I'll see you all back when I'm ready for the next stage of my training -o. And the timer ticks down. We are almost there and done the first and the easiest stage of the initiation. Um, this one we only have to wait 10 minutes on the highest peak of the world, which sucks. The next ones get progressively longer, then shorter. And yeah, I'm going to hate every bit of it. Luckily though, luckily, one of my favourite fan fiction writers has released just a new chapter of one of my, well, one of the newer fics. So, you know, I'll have stuff to do at the very least. Now, can I do go down this without dying? Let's find out. Wee! Reach the water! Reach the water! Reach the water! Teleport! Come here! I'll thank the gods! I may have just missed that there if I didn't do that. But right, um, sagey thing! Where's the spot? Here's the spot. Here you go! You like me to you the sage? Oh, you're back! You seem to have grown from this experience, have I? No. For your next part, you'll need to meditate on water. Head over to an ocean and made it to there for half a day. That's 10 minutes as well. <sighs> right. Let us go and find a thing. Also turn back on this because I need to move with a bit of speed. Not, not really urgency, but I need to move at a bit of speed. Uh, is there an ocean nearby here? They're not cross the ocean to get over here? No, no, no. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Doubt it. Maybe though. Airplanes. Damn it. We need to find an ocean biome. There's probably one nearby, though. Let's find out. That's a swamp. Oh, come on. There's none nearby. You're sorry, kidding me. Okay, wait. No, no, no. There's one, I think. Yeah, to the west of here. Let's go to the west. Find the ocean. Then we have the unique job of trying to get inside water but without drowning. Like, I think the idea of this one is you're supposed to bob until it works. You can't stand in the water. If you stand in the water, it doesn't count as you being in the water. So, you've got to try and get, like, a unique balance of you're in the water, but at the same time, you know, you're able to use your uh, chakra water walking ability. Because otherwise, you're literally going to sink. It sucks. Also, where the hell am I? Okay, I need to go down. Wait, hold on. I am here. I need to go slightly this way. Okay. Pass through this woodlands to the thing. Yeah, this one's a bit of a weird one. I think, like, I don't know if the dude was thinking you were supposed to, like, literally just, you know, hold spacebar in the water. 
but who would want to do that for 10 minutes? That is so stupid of a thing. Like, seriously, there, there's no reason for that to be a thing. That's just a dumb waste of time for people. Like, I don't know why he'd put that in the mod if that was the intention. Like, I, I don't know what goes through the creator's head sometimes when it comes to some of these things that he's set up. Like, the sharing gun taking a bit of time, I agree with. Sure, it could take a bit of time. I just don't see why it takes, like, hours upon hours upon hours. Like, he just... Ugh. The balancing of some of this stuff's a bit a mental. Like, it takes too much time, essentially, to unlock a lot of things. There's no way to cheat anything in, which... I mean, it's cool that I suppose you can't cheat, but at the same time, it's, like, it's really inconvenient for people who have played or wanted to review it, for example, or have, like, planned to, like, play with it, but want to, like, do certain things. Like, you know, there's... Oh, there's certain times where I think cheats would be handy, or the ability to at least reset your clan or something, or to set your clan, or junk like that. I just feel like commands like that would be kind of a given when it comes to mods like this, but never mind, those aren't a things. It takes too much time for these things. Then there's freaking the balancing of power. Like, you get absurdly strong because of your high, like, high medical. And a lot of people go for high medical, so I don't know, like, why you would think people wouldn't. But, yet moves aren't all that strong. Most moves only do, like, 10 damage at most, which isn't that good. Like, especially as someone who's got, like, a thousand health. You know, that's just, it's not going to do anything. So what's even the point of that move at that point? This is not an ocean. Is this an ocean? Please tell me this is an ocean. <gasps> it's an ocean! Yes! If I started meditating, I have... Right, yep, I've, I managed to time it just well. It wasn't really time, it was just more by chance. I managed to get my foot in the water. Right, keep walking a little bit along so we go away from possible things shooting at us. And, yeah, then we meditate for ten minutes. And we go from there... Gah. I'll see you all in 10 minutes, assuming I haven't shriveled up and died from all the water on my feet. Okay, and we're back, and I just went out and took my dog for a walk for 10 odd minutes, and so what do you know? It's time. We've sat in this water long enough. I can't feel my feet anymore. They have gone completely numb from the freezing cold water. <laughs> I may have frostbite and lost several toes, but it's fine. We shall go on. Spending half a day just sitting there in the water. No, that's not going to do nice things for you, okay? That's not going to do nice things. Right, back to the CG spot. Off we go. And... Boom! Summoning Jutsu! Ah, there you are. You're a hardy one. Alright, your next challenge shall be to overcome the cold. Head over to cold bio and spend two days there. And this... This is where Sage Mod is a bitch. Two days! Minecraft time. Is 40 minutes! That's a long time. That's a long ass time. <laughs> I wonder if I could alter the time of day. Like how long a day is in Minecraft. And that would alter the time of the jet so. There's a thought for later maybe. Not really. Right let's go. Where? where do, I've got I've got one. Dragunu. You're in a call. Meditating has started. Lovely. I'm going to make the assumption that I'm not going to die if I stand over here. But I'm just going to move over here just in case. So if you thought the water, standing in the freezing cold water was going to give me frostbite on my toes, because it kind of did. Um, well, it wasn't really frostbite, it's more just they've wrinkled up and fallen off. But, you know, ignoring all that stuff. Um, yeah, this will probably kill me standing in here for two days straight. I will become an ice statue, not able to move again. So, that'll be fun. This will be the end of it, I'm afraid. Standing in the freezing cold. Because, you know, we're not a Yuki clan, we don't have ice release. We're, we're a Yuchiya, we like fire. This isn't going to sit well with us. But yeah, okay, so we've got 40 minutes to go. So, it's at this point where I leave you all. I go read my fan fiction, watch several episodes of Fate Apocalyptia on Netflix. Because season 2 of that came out, by the way, on the 31st of March. And, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see if I'm still alive by the time we get back, eh? Hada! Yay! <laughs> Meditation done. You thought you'd become resistant to the cold. Head back to the sage. <laughs> I don't feel like I've been resistant to anything. I feel like I've just suffered through a world of pain. AKA, I had to spend the last 40 minutes just finding other stuff to do. Because, you know, I read my fan fiction. That only lasted like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. And then after that, I had to find 20 minutes to watch and do something else. Ah! Oh. Alright, back to the CG spot. We got one more bloody trial to go, then we're done. At least I think, I think it's only one more, then we're done. Da da da! Summoning Jutsu! I am back! What is the next step? Oh, still so raring to go. Very well. For your next training, you must learn to withstand heat. Head over to the nether and spend a full day there. Right. Off to hell we go then. 
<laughs> oh, I hate stage training. But the plus thing, once it's done, it's done. I don't have to care about it again, so. Until I've done another series where I get it. Oh, have I got any mail today? No, I don't. Okay. Okay. Also, I was thinking, like, oh, maybe I should put points inside Senjutsu so I get more, uh, Senjutsu energy, natural energy. No, you don't need to. You get more points after you finish your stage training, so I'm not going to bother with that. Nope, instead we're going to go to the nether, and we're going to find a nice spot to stand for 20 minutes, because, of course, we are. Oh, God, what happened? What the hell? Right, where's a good spot where we can chill for literally, like, 20 minutes? Um... I saw it in here will do. Literally just dig a hole, make a safe spot, and just chill. That is the plan. Boop, boop. I'll see you all in. Yep, 19 minutes and 30 seconds. Huzzah! Oh, joy, we're almost there. It's nearly over. <laughs> oh, God, how I hate doing the sage stuff. I mean, sage mode in itself is cool. I just hate the waiting part. Anything that involves lots of waiting. Like... Waiting for the Sharingan and stuff, you know, that's a different thing altogether, because I can do that anywhere. I can, you know, I, I still don't hate, I still hate it. But, you know, I can go and grind, I can wait in a grinder room, I can, like, you know, get levels and stuff while I do I can make use of that time, you know, and record other stuff. Done! You feel like you've become resistant to the heat, head back to the sage. Oh, with pleasure. Ah, oh, Waiting. Never a fun thing in this game. Alright, um... With that, I think we're done with all the waiting bits. Remember ourselves, oh. We should be finished. This should be us. This should be it. We can do the thing. Summoning Jutsu! We can do the thing. Hmm. You've proven yourself to be both patient as well as preserving. You are ready for the last test. Thank you, wise Gamamura. I don't even remember his name anymore. For your last test, da da da, you must prove your raw strength and crap. You must defeat this enemy within one day. Oh. Oh, was it you? Um, well, I mean, I've got this, so that is helpful. Um, then I also have, where is it? Yes, this. This is very helpful. And I've got something rational, that's not very helpful. I have the, if it, worst case scenario, I've got the, the other thing. I have to defeat you in one day, have I? That shouldn't be too hard, since I can just do this. Over and over and over and over and over. Die, die, die. I have a lot of chakras to see. <laughs> oh, that poor toad didn't stand a chance. Uh, did I get the egg? I did not get the egg. Where's the egg? What? Oh, there it is. I swear that was down below the water there. Perfect. We're done. Yeah, so... The Yang sort of light technique mixed with like 700 chakra. You you're going to kill him pretty easily. I should have used the multi one. Oh, that was a waste opportunity, whatever. We're done! You didn't stand a chance! You're proving your worth as a shinobi. I will hereby grant you the power of... Hold on. Uh, thingy mode. Sage mode! Deactivate Sharing Gun. You suddenly feel uh, two giant hands uh, are pushing power into your body. You feel the natural energy growing tremendously. You're never sage. Congratulations. Sage mode activated! That's not sage mode! There we go. It looks weird. <laughs> it looks very weird. Oh, there we go. I've got the Sage Mode thing there. Cool. Sharingan. Okay, Sharingan and Sage Mode don't mix together very well. That's a shame. Oh, well. Ooh. All right, well, we've got Sage Mode now. So that's cool. Also, charge the Sage Mode. Okay, we can only maintain it like this. Turn it off. Hey, hold on. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Yeah, it's weird. Holding shift and pressing this button says Mangeki no Sharingan. It's clearly not the Mangeki no Sharingan. It's very weird how the things mix a bit for that. We've done it, though. We have the power of the Seiju, which is kind of handy, I think. I generally forget <laughs> how good it is. I just know I wanted it. Right, with that, we get 100 Senjutsu. Uh, the scroll itself does nothing now. You're now a Sage. Keep the scroll for a later update. So, I guess that'll be if you want to learn Sage techniques. Later on, like, oh god, what's this? What's the Toad Sage fighting still? You got the natural energy attacks where like, you can hit. Basically, you can punch and like it'll, you know, hit things. Even if you miss, it will still hit because the natural energy 
Pretty much form an invisible fist and punch the enemy, essentially. I forgot what the fighting style is called. There's actually there's a name for it, because Naruto uses it and stuff, and there, there are other CG techniques, because it's the stuff they use, well, that and mix, they mix stage energy with other techniques as well. Oh, there's a bunch of the sage mode. It's just right now we've got the very basics of it. So, activating it, we get quicker, we get stronger, we get better than before. And it doesn't use chakra, so that's nice. And if we increase our sage energy amount a bunch, that'll help too. Now we need to test it though, we need to find something to hit. So we're gonna go home for a second. We're gonna go, th we're gonna go find things to box and stuff. God, I'm done, I'm done with it, huzzah. I saw a lot of enemies there, hold on. Right, so turn Sage Mode off right now. So, I currently right now have Strong Style on, and the Dragon Head. So, you know, I do a bunch of damage, as you would expect. If I hate enemies, I do three. Which isn't actually that much. I do threes and fours, right? No, just three, actually. What? Oh, God, there's a lot of things. I do threes and fours. Really? With Strong Style and Thingy on? Oh, yeah, it only has an extra point for each, doesn't it? I, 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 when, I go and, when I go and Chakra... Uh, when I go to uh, Biju Chakra, I was trying to remember the name of it there. Biju Chakra mode, it does even more. Huzzah. All right, okay, I don't have that luxury right now. I can do fours against spires and fives. Cool. Now we activate Sage mode, which increases our speed. And now we do sevens. Huzzah. Sevens and eights. Awesome. Now we go into Buji mode, with the eyes following us. And we do nines and possibly tens, I'm not sure. Nines, a bunch. Hello! Yeah, we do eights and nines. Kill! Da! Kill them all! Alright, so this works out quite well for us then, because yeah, we, we've actually got a fairly good boost out of this. Out of the way! Out of the way! Out of the way! Out of the way, man! I don't want to kill you! I want to kill these things! These things are in the way! Mainly because they'll also drop eggshells! Yes! Eggshells! Alright, so we're fairly- oh, I've just lost stage mode. Oh, have I? No, no, it's doing the it's doing the glitch thing again where I keep it on even though my even though I've run out of synergy energy and it just starts regenerating synergy energy. It's busted. Awesome. You're until beast when I can't use the sharing gun that. Oh, can I? No, no, I'm until beast far as I can I can't deactivate Sage molding it. Okay, so it's the same as every other form. It's giving us a boost though, on top of what we already have. So I have no complaints, we've just got another power boost, and this one pretty much uses Sin Generator, so as long as we keep that top top, that gives us a free boost whenever we need to use it. Plus it's a speed boost, it's a free speed boost if nothing else, which is nice. Plus it doesn't seem to run out because for whatever reason it's glitched, so whenever you use it, whenever you run out of Sin Energy, it just, yeah, goes, the energy starts building back up, so you can just eternally stay in Siege Mode if you wanted. Oh, I do like my little jungle I've got built here. Hello, hi zombie, you look, you're got cool hat, right, cool. Wait, hold on. Store the eggshells. Any of them at nine? No, they're not. That's a shame. Bag. Crap. Money. Glorious. Alright, well that was a thing. I'm okay with this, actually. This gives us a nice little power up. I'm actually okay with all this. We're not hitting nearly as hard as, as we do in wolf form. Oh, hold on. Test wolf form. That was a good plan. So, right, so we're in this form, this form, this form, and stage mode is active. Now we take this. Hold on. Yes, now we take this. Go for it. Da 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 da. Seventeens. Die. Now if we turn Bougie mode off for now, and deactivate stage mode, and turn Bougie mode back on. We're doing seventeens before. Now we're doing still seventeens. And, and more. I don't know how much I'm doing anymore because I'm attacking from above. That did 10. That did 7. It's hard to say, really. Oh, that, that did 9. Okay. Bougie mode off. Siege mode on. Bougie mode on. That did 9. I may have been getting crits before. I'm not sure anymore. Ow. 12. So it does more, right? I don't know. It's hard to tell if enemies is because they're just in the water, in the way... Everything dies. Everything bugger off. Any eggshells from that? Oh, there is an eggshell. Love that. Mate. Any more? There's a purple one there. Did I get it? I did get it. Two purple ones there. Also, mo. Boom. I've enough for an orange egg. No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't go dropping that. That'd be pretty bad. Uh, drop the meat. Drop the thing. Drop the thing. Drop the thing. 
All the junk. Right, so yeah, it gives a boost even in freaking, um, even when in werewolf form. Oh, we're so much quicker as well. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, we go very quick like this. Until we hit an edge. Then we don't go as quick. And yeah, even once the energy ran out, we still have a uh, thingy mode on. But yeah, okay, we're, we're super fast now. Oh my, yes. <laughs> this is the powers of a sage. Huzzah! Alright, let's kill. Cool. I'm... It doesn't really make up for the crap I had to go through, for the, all the waiting and stuff, and... Well, I mean, to be fair, I didn't actually have to find a jungle. I ended up just so I spawned one in, essentially. I created a jungle. Oh, wait, hold on. Punch! 17. Fuji mode deactivate. 15. Sage mode deactivated. I didn't get to see. Because she had one health left. Oh, we're so much slower now. <laughs> oh, God. This is actually still really quick. But because I'm, I'm, I'm getting more and more used to having the bougie mode and the sage mode mode on. Yeah. Okay, so that means we've now got the Mangekyou no Sharing Gun. The Tail Beast Cloak. Or a bit the first stage of it, anyway. And the sage mode. So we still need to get Curse Mark. We still need to get the Eternal Mangekyou no Sharing Gun. And we still need to finish off our uh, Tail Beast stuff, which... Time will dictate what, uh, how, what comes of that. But yeah, okay, we've got still a bunch to do, but... Da -da. We got we got a major one out of the way. One that I was kind of dreading because of just the time-wise, how long it takes to do. But, you know, we got it done. We got it done. And it's kind of worth it, I guess. We got a power boost out of it, so that's nice. Got told sage modes. So we look cooler than before. Also, that will farm. That will farm so we can appreciate how it looks. Well done. And bah. Yeah, I'd say the, I'd say the, snake, the snake one looks better on me. If I'm being honest, the snake one probably does look better on me. But hey, I wanted to try it out. We've got it now. We are now a siege. We are now a toad siege. -o. And got slight power from the Nine Tails Fox, Amber, Uchiha. And we are hunting for Rochimaru. So we become a missing name and contain the curse mark powers. There's just so much to do, isn't there? There's just so much to do. Also, get anything else out of that? No, not really. Alright, well, I need to continue my training and stuff. Also, I was going to uh, note this. So, right, on Discord, um, I think got mentioned, oh, it's it's kind of crap on uh, um, grinders. They ruin the series and stuff like that. I'm just going to point out grinders, okay, and what they do. They allow us to pretty much gain levels really quick. Now, here's the thing about that. That gives us jutsu points and um, skill points to spend. Which in turn let us do things during the episode. Honestly, if I didn't, if we didn't have access to any grinders, like, okay, I'm against the big old grinders because they were killing the server. But little grinders like this, these are no problem. These are absolutely no problem, the little ones like this. They give us levels not insanely fast. We still need to wait ages to do it. But we're on the server ages anyway, so, you know, make, make use of that time. But, um, they give us jutsu points. If I didn't do this, um, I'd be progressing slower and I wouldn't have any cool jutsus to show. And I would have nothing to do half the videos because we'd pretty much just have to go, like, castle to castle killing things all the time because that's all i'd have to that's all i'd have to be doing and okay you might think oh that's more interesting though you're going up in your fighting stuff yeah it's interesting for a bit but when i do what after i conquer like the 17th castle you're not going to be going oh i can't wait till he does the 18th castle and fights all the same enemies again and again yeah no no people aren't going to be happy about that i think i'd rather get power level some of my things so then when i do go and conquer the 18th castle i have a new way of doing it i'm not doing it just the same way of punching things i can use different jutsus and stuff you know what can make an experience that you've done before different is doing it a different way. You don't have to play a game. Like, if I play through Skyrim, I have to play through it the same way. I might play it through it as an archer. might play through it as a guy with a mad sword. might play through it as a guy that wears no armor. And uses a giant sword or something. might play through it as a mage of different skills. You know, you play the same game, the same experience in different ways. And it makes it more interesting. That's what Grinders allows us to do. It allows us to get different things. I can use, I can get my uh, late jutsus. I can get, or yang, more specifically. I can get my wood jutsus and stuff, you know? So now, I don't think Grinders ruin this. I think the mega Grinders uh, were killing the server. Definitely. Uh, but no, the little Grinders, I prefer having them. Because I would rather, you know, if I've got spare time that I need to spend uh, doing nothing. I'd rather do it, you know, getting levels quickly. And leveling up and stuff. So we can get cool jutsus. I do wish, you know, you could get jutsus a bit easier. That'd be nice. And not have to get to, like, level 700 to unlock all the different branches. But I guess that's just the idea of... You're not really supposed to master everything in Naruto. You're supposed to master, like, select things and that's it. Unless you're insanely powerful, in which case you master everything. So, 
da da da. I thought I mentioned that because it got mentioned in Discord, and I also get said, oh, there should be a suggestions bit. No, there shouldn't. I read the bloody Discord. If people suggest ideas, I normally see them. So, you know, if it's good ideas, they get pushed forward. If it's bad ideas, they don't get pushed forward. And what you're saying is, oh, you should do a series where there's no grinders. No, I shouldn't. No, I saw they shouldn't. We've seen that Naruto anime life. And that's not very good. I want a grinder in that. Because the, the constantly going and killing the same bosses gets tedious and boring after a while. Because we're just killing it the same way over and over again. What we need is fresh new ways, which is why I'm going to... As soon as I reach level 500, I'll get double jutsu points. At which point I will start really rocking some cool new jutsus and the higher level jutsus. Which I'm looking forward to. Because I'm interested to see what other jutsus are. Because I never finished wood still last time. And I want to finish it, preferably. And I could probably try and get some other natures as I grind and hopefully get more DNA. But we'll see. But right then, um, how long has the video been going on? I don't know. I have not checked in a little while. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, we're like 40 minutes in. We've done the sage stuff. We've got to test it a little bit. Mixing with all the forms is insane. We get an insane power boost off it. We're destroying things. And move insanely fast, which is awesome. And even when we stay in human form, which human form is preferable in some cases, because then I can use jutsus, I still hit pretty damn hard, which is awesome. So, you know... I have no problems with this. I, I feel like this is quite good. I quite enjoy this. Um, as much as people say, oh, Curse Mark's better, maybe it is, but Sage Mode's got its own charm, and that's that it does give you the little power increase, which it's only a small power increase, but tie that in with all the little ones we've got, and we get quite strong. We hit pretty damn hard, which is cool. Um, but yeah, even just aside from that, it's still also a speed boost. It's a free speed boost that's just really good, because, like, oh, yeah, I've got it on right now. We're on a bunch quicker and stuff. It's just, it's just nice, nice to have. I still want to get Curse Mark, of course. We still need to find Orochimaru, whatever he is. Um, so that's still a thing that needs to happen at some point. And yeah, either we win a tournament and get him one day, or we find them at some point. I mean, there are swamps. Totally, we'll totally find them someday, I hope. We'll see. But right, anyway, people, for today, for today, we've done the job. We've become the Toad Sage. We have unleashed it. Once more into the world. I'm, I don't know. Are we the only Toad Sage at this point? We might be. I don't know if there's it. Is anyone else in the server unlocked Sage Mode yet? Is anyone bothered with it? Like, getting Sage Mode? Because I know the tournament winner picked Richie Morrow so they could get Curse Mark. That was fine. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know if anyone else has actually bothered to get Toad Sage Mode yet. Which they could do, because... Oh, no, they couldn't do it. They have to find a, a sun in first, which is hard, I suppose. But, you know, they, could, they still could. It just takes time, which I've spent in a grinder. But, you know, whatever. But, right, anyway, people, thank you all very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this show. We are now at Toad Sage. Next time we'll move on to something else, depending. I mean, the Termagakin or Sharing Gun later could arrive at any point. We might find out tomorrow. We might just get more jutsus and do cool stuff. Maybe we'll live stream into a tournament. Maybe we'll build a massive blood arena. I don't know. We'll figure something out, though. But, right, as always... Um, for every turn you likes in the video, I'll add a person onto the server, so if you want to have a chance to go on, leave a like along with your in-game name down below for a chance. Uh, if you're a sponsor, just let us know in the comment section or during a live stream. I'll, sp I'll waitlist you no problem on any of the servers. Um, and yeah, or just if you enjoy the video, just you know, leave a like. All the support is very much appreciated. This series, it blows me away just how well this series does compared to like all the series I've done in the past. In terms of support, it's insane. I love it. And I generally just enjoy playing around with the series and all the stuff in that. I do think Snake Sage looks better on me, though. Like, I dig the eyes, but, like, the, the purple eyeshadow... Ugh. I think the purple looked better on me, for being honest. But, whatever. It's whatever. We've got it now. We're a Toad Sage. No going back now. That's it done. But, right. Anyway, people. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you all next time for more Naruto Anime Ultimate Mud Pack. Goodbye, everybody.